Hey everyone, Stormy Strike here. I did this video last year where I just basically gave my thoughts and opinions about all the different Briarfest models for this year. And even though I won't be going to Briarfest this year, I'm hoping to get a couple of these models later on maybe. And it's still just fun to talk about them and such. And remember, these are just my own opinions. Like if I say I don't like a certain model, that doesn't mean it's a bad model or anything like that. It's just that I want to give my like personal opinion about each model they have here for Briarfest this year. So let's get started. First model here is the Celebration Horse model. His name is Nazardin. Nazardin. I'm Nazardin. I'm. I'm not really sure how you say it. But anyway, he is the horse that all the three-day ticket holders get. I think he is super gorgeous. I do like the Marwari mold. I think this nice chestnut color is just really pretty on this mold. And I I don't know, he's just a really great model. I'm really sad that I'm not going for, to Briarfest because I would totally not mind having like three or four of these guys. They are really pretty looking. I can't wait to see what they're gonna like look like in person too. And I'm definitely going to be looking for one of these guys on the secondhand market. Next is the early bird raffle model. They only made three of these guys, so, you know, opinions doesn't really matter. But for the sake of this video, I will give my opinions on all of them. So I think this guy is pretty, but I also feel like he's kind of plain and not super exciting for the fact that he is only three made of. And I don't know, he's a little a little plain to me, but he is pretty. I do like this the little Icelandic mold, it's very cute, I think. While the black color looks pretty like solid black, the gloss does really make him just kind of have that wowy factor to him. So while he is not like super flashy, he is really cute. Next is the Saturday Raffle model. His name is Rana, I, I hope that's how you say it. So there's only 26 pieces of this guy, so obviously he is a very limited model. I think he is also going to be a very highly sought after model. He is gorgeous. Personally, I think this is like one of the absolutely most gorgeous models Briar has ever made. He is just so stunning and looks so incredibly detailed. I am absolutely in love with him. I would freak out if I won something like this at the raffle. He is just super amazing. His spots have mapping. He has like those little uh, Ribicano or whatever it's called like on his sides. He's got some of that going on. He's got that beautiful like kind of splattery speckling on his chest that is just amazing. He's got like shading and stripes on his hooves. His face looks like it's got uh, molting spots on his muzzle and spots on his face and like the face marking really beautiful and black and white striped mane. It's just like crazy detailed, like a lot going on. And I think he is just absolutely amazing. I would personally actually really like to try and like replicate this kind of look of coloring and patterns on either the same mold or another mold. Like, I think that would just make a really pretty, like, fun custom for myself. Because I think this model is just amazing. Like, I'm not kidding when I think this is just seriously one of the best Briar models done. He's just incredible looking, even in pictures. So I can't even imagine how cool he must look in person. Now, the Sunday raffle model is on the new True North mold that just came out this year for the Briar Premier Club. And his name is Ra Rangali, Rangali maybe, maybe that's how you say it. He is really pretty. I personally don't like him quite as much as the other one, but he's still really gorgeous. Looks like he has really nice markings. I really love like the dark shading on him and the dapples. He's just really pretty color on this horse, but I will admit I'm not like super like thrilled, thrilled by him. But I do think he is really, really pretty and a really great raffle model. Then there is the Diorama Contest Prize Horse. Honestly, pretty underwhelming. I felt like last year's prize horse was also pretty underwhelming. Even though they, they're limited models, lately Briar seems to be using really unpopular molds for the Diorama Contest Prize, which in some ways is good, I guess, if you don't win the uh, con diorama I can't speak if you don't win the diorama contest you're not quite as disappointed if you're like oh well I didn't really like that model anyway or something like that but but I don't know I just feel like it's a little disappointing that Briar doesn't make these diorama contest prize models a little better 
the one they did for 2015, the truffles one on the Norwegian Ford mold. Now that was really good. And I thought that was like the perfect example of what they should do for the diorama contest prize horse. And I also personally really liked the one from 2011 that was on the Justin Morgan mold. That was really just like my own personal opinion because I really like that mold for some reason now. I think it's really cute. But uh, several of the other Briarfest prize, contest prize horses I felt like have been kind of lacking a little bit. I do like him actually better than the one they had for last year, but he's still kind of underwhelming to me. He is really pretty. It does look like he has like a really pearly mane and tail, so I think that is really cool. That probably looks really pretty in person. He does have some nice subtle dapples and nice coloring. I just don't think he uh, has a wow factor to him. I know a lot of people probably don't like the Paso Fennel mold very much. I like him okay. He's not one of my favorites, but I do like him. Another contest prize model I want to talk about is the ones for the Briarfest Best Custom Contest. So what they do for the Best Custom Contest is actually kind of predictable now because the past two years what they've been doing is they take the first release in the Briar Premier Club and they just put a different color on it. So they did that last year with Geronimo. They put him in like a bay color I think and then they also did the same thing with the Mare and Foal set. And then they did the same thing with True North this year. They have the same model, like with the same pattern, but they put a different color on him. So instead of that other kind of color, like Silver Bay, I think is what the original True North is. Instead of a Silver Bay, this one is more of a traditional, like Red Bay, Pretty Bay coloring. Now, I'm, I will say I'm not so thrilled about this. He is really nice in this color as well. But he is kind of similar to the color he was before in a way, so I think he's just not super, like, thrilling. But that doesn't mean he's not really pretty. I think he is a really pretty model. And So what's interesting, though, is that they started a new thing is for, for the custom contest, and they're actually having reserve custom contest prize models now, which I think is pretty cool that they're adding another little model, so they're just doing a stablemate. They're doing the kind of the same thing. They're just using a previous stable mate that was from the Premier Club and changing the color on it. So they use the Geronimo stable mate and instead of the pre Garula color, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong again, but instead, uh, Grey Lou, I think is how you say it, Grey Lou color. Instead of the Grey Lou color, he is this pretty little uh, bay horse. And uh, he's pretty, but again, I'm just kind of not like super, it's like overwhelming or exciting or anything. But that is pretty cool though. I really do like the fact that they added another little reserve prize for the best custom contest. On to more contest models. I don't know why I'm doing all the contest models first, but for some reason I am. So there is one called Desi. I forgot to say the other one's names, I think, by the way. I'm sorry if I do that. I'm just, this video is gonna be rambly. I, I'm sorry. When it's just like random thoughts and I'm not scripting any of this, it, it tends to be just a little bit random and not consistent. But this one is called Desi and it is the Open Show Reserve Prize. Not personally a fan just because I don't know why but I really don't care for this uh, mold. What's it called? Jim Twist? The Jim Twist mold? I don't know why but I'm just I'm not a huge fan of it. I think I have one in my entire collection and I just it's a mold that for some reason I don't I don't care for too much, it's fine, but for some reason I just I just never really like it that much. But um, the color on it is pretty. It's a nice, uh, nice little blanket Appaloosa. What I do think is definitely nicer is the one they did for the championship, or the, I mean the grand, grand prize for the Briarfest Model Horse Show. This one is Casa, Casia, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce these things, I'm just not even going to try anymore. But this guy is on the Cleveland Bay mold and he looks really pretty. I like the markings on him and his coloring is really nice and Cleveland Bay mold, the, ooh, I can't speak again. The Cleveland Bay mold is really pretty too, like just a nice mold. I like him, I think he's generally a liked mold so I'm sure that one is going to be uh, pretty, pretty exciting. For everyone that is entering in the Briar Fest uh, open show. Alright, now did we do all of all the uh, contest models? 
and such. I think we pretty much did. I will go real quickly through, I guess, a couple of the auction models. So they released a silent auction model whose name is Bird of Paradise. This model is gorgeous, 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 I can't speak. And wow, like a, just an epiphany, epiphany, uh, I can't speak, but I had an, 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 an epiphany that just blew my mind right now. This guy, so he's obviously meant to be like a parrot, uh, like a, uh, I think they're called scarlet macaws is the ones that, that have the, that coloring, which are just super pretty looking birds. So this guy obviously doesn't really fit the theme of India. He actually fits last year's theme and thinking about it, I'm like, oh my gosh, this horse, you see this horse right here? I will bet you money that this horse was the, like one of the test models they did for last year's special run Pegasus horse. You know, you know that one, the one that had like the weird colors and some people like really liked him and a lot of people were like, oh my God, that's like one of the worst briars that briars ever done. Oh my gosh, I bet you, I bet you that this is one of the test models they did for that special run. Why they chose that other special run over this, this guy, I don't know. Maybe they had trouble with painting it or something. But if that is true, oh my gosh, Briar, why? Why didn't you use this horse as the special run for last year? I would have died. I would have actually bought that horse because that is an amazingly gorgeous, gorgeous horse. I love this guy so much. I think his colors are amazing. I actually already did a macaw. I did not a scarlet macaw though. I did a different a different breed of uh, parrot macaw bird as a horse, which I will probably try to throw a picture up of. But I actually did my own custom of that last year for the diorama contest. So it's not like I don't already have a horse that's kind of similar to this in a way. But this live auction horse, I bet you is that, that's the story behind it. I'm, I don't know for, I'm, I'm just speculating, but if that horse was going to have a story behind it, that would be the story. That it was one of the test models for last year's Briar uh, Decorator Special Run, and for whatever reason, they went with the other one. If that's true, who, who decided that? Because I'm sorry to say, this horse I think would have done much better than the other one and it's really sad that I can't remember the other one's special run name right now but this one is oh my goodness I love him he's super gorgeous it looks like he's really glossy too I just love colors and I like I like it when they do things like other animals that's why I have all the horses in the big cat series because I, I just love that for some reason I love this guy he's so colorful and pretty and I just hmm I just really wish they would have done that as a special run last year because I would have just totally bought him for sure so that's that's my thoughts on that guy and I don't know why I just like went crazy there for a minute and freaked out about it because I just had that crazy epith epith I can't speak again but you get what I mean I'm gonna go ahead and move on before I get any more crazy so far Briar has released pictures of some of the live auction models they usually like put one out every single day before Briar Fest and so they put out uh, four so far, which I should not say because then that means you know exactly which day I recorded this video on. But these guys are super pretty and obviously they're like one of a kinds or tests or whatever. Usually like one of a kinds mostly though. So obviously they're going to go for a lot of money, but I think they are all super, super gorgeous. So the first one is a glossy bay Tobiano on the new like mangle or margage i don't know I'm, I'm not gonna try i'm not gonna try to pronounce it but basically what was the celebration horse mold last year that just came out and so they have a really pretty glossy dark coloring on him he is gorgeous i think he is absolutely lovely the second one is this bay roan on the show jumping warm blood and again just really pretty i think he's gorgeous i, I like these test models uh, these are one of a kind they're really 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 pretty the third one here is probably my favorite though because it's adios i don't know why i developed such a love for the Ad for the adios mold but i did and it's one of my favorite briar molds now this guy is like wow i love his markings they're like so detailed and look so crisp and his coloring and his shading is like wow his shading is like on every single muscle it's like ridiculous he looks amazing if i was a millionaire i would totally bid on this horse till i want him because he is so gorgeous 
And then the fourth one is a really pretty Bay Tobiano on the... I'm not going to try to pronounce his name. Okay, I'll try. The Tortilla... No, the, to, the Totalis Mold. The just... Oh, so pretty. I love this mold too. Just a great mold. So that is another really pretty one. You know what? Let's move on from all the really rare models that most of us won't be getting anyway. Only a select few people are going to be able to get some of these really gorgeous rare models. So let's go on and talk about the actual special runs and the store specials and the tent specials and all of that. Let's get into the store specials now. And the first store special here is Repeat the Beat. Ooh, I just realized because I'm not going to be there at Briar Fest, I will probably not get to get. Oh my goodness, my heart just broke. So this model is so pretty. So I don't know why Briar keeps using Bluegrass Bandit as a store special, but they have been. And uh, she is so pretty. Like I, that's another mold that's been growing on me is Bluegrass Bandit. I, she's just a lovely mold. And this one is really pretty. It's a really pretty roan with little sabino markings and it's just amazing looking. I would really love to have this model so hopefully I can get her on the second hand market or something because she is so pretty. So that's my thoughts on her. I love her. Absolutely gorgeous. The next one at the, so the Briarfest store special is Dolly and Spanky. This one, actually the other one too is based off a real horse uh, but yeah anyway. <laughs> These, this little dog and this little little pony are based off of real horse, a real horse and dog too, which I think is really cool and they're going to be at Briarfest and all that. So on their own, I personally don't think, like I don't really want this, this horse and model, this horse and dog set. They're both really cute, but I'm also trying to be a lot more selective on which Briars I get because I have too many and I actually need to downsize my collection and not get just more and more and more. So this, I, would, I like this set, but it's not one I'm personally looking for. Now, granted, if you get to like meet Dolly and Spanky in person and stuff, it's probably like much more like, okay, I have to get their models now because I got to actually see them in person and see them perform and be really cute and stuff. And in that case, I would be probably more inclined to get them. But as of now, though, I am not like super like, oh, I need this, this model and doggy even though they're really cute I'm more like they're really cute but I don't need them because I do not need to spend any more money or get any more horses now for the Briar Bazaar and what I just said actually applies to almost all of the models at the Briar Bazaar they are all really pretty but I just don't desire them enough to actually get them for myself just because like I said I, I can't be getting more horses unless I absolutely love them because I do not want to spend money and I do not have room. But they are pretty and so we're going to talk about them still. So one of them is called Navia, Navia, Navia. I don't know how you say that. But it's a cute little Django stable mate in like a clear plastic. It's got pink and green and it's got like little lotus flowers on its butt. It's actually really cute and really pretty and I like that it's kind of colorful and all that. It's a really cute little horse. They also have plushes again, and this time they have two two plushes for Briarfest. One is Juniper, Jun I can't speak again. Juniper, the pink elephant, which is cute, like really cute. I'm like, it's cool that they're doing another animal like plush. I hope they do that again next time I go to Briarfest because I would love to have one. So this one is uh, really cute, really fits the theme of the India Gateway to India theme. So I think that's really cool that they brought that in there and if I didn't also have a huge stuffed animal hoarding problem right now like seriously I have so many stuffed animals they're another thing I have to go through and downsize because I have way too many so again like this one it's pretty it's really cute I mean yeah I guess it's pretty yeah I, was, I don't even know what I'm saying it's pretty it's really cute whatever but it's not one that I like have to have but I do think it is a great addition for the Briar Bazaar Next one is actually one I do really want, and that is Lotus, the little little stuffy horse. I love the colors on it. I love it that it's like a pretty black horse with these bright oranges and pinks, and it's got pink and black mane. It's like really cute. This is the one that I do like really, really want and hope I can maybe get 
on the secondhand market or something because I do really like this one. And so far I actually have uh, both, st both of the little plushies from 2015 and 2016. And so I just kind of like to collect those, I guess. I think they're really cute. I do not have the one from, when was it, 2014? I don't have that one, but I do have the other two. And so I'm kind of starting to collect them. And I just do really like the little stuffed horses because they're cute. Next up here is Marigold. Again, really pretty, but not one I need. Really crazy, crazy coloring go like crazy colorful love the patterns on it really just a really nice horse but again not one i need for my collection right now but it is really pretty and i like that briar is doing so many models for the briar bazaar this year holly is also really pretty again i kind of really don't need it though like it is really pretty elephant i like the fact they did these pretty paintings on it but not one I have to have. It is again though a really really nice model, really great for the theme though. I like that all of these models in the Briar Bazaar really fit the theme of India really well. Alright, now on to everyone's favorite, the special run models. First up here we have Indu, who is wowzers, like so pretty. Oh my gosh, I definitely want to get him. I am really worried that they might not be as good as in person like the dapples on a lot of these guys might not be very good i'm also not really sure why they did striping on their legs like he doesn't he doesn't need striping on his legs briar not every single horse needs to be a dun as much as i love duns you don't need to put stripes on all your different horses so that's my one little um, pet peeve about it is the stripes on the legs like they really aren't necessary and i am worried that the dapples on some of them are probably not going to come out very good but I love the fact that this horse has like a white face. Like Briar doesn't seem to really do that on their gray horses as much. They don't put that kind of really pretty graying white face on them. So I really like the fact they did this on this guy. He is just super pretty. I like this mold a lot. It's really cool. Great model. It's definitely one of the uh, special runs I'm really hoping to get. I actually probably should order my, like put in like a list which special runs are my favorite. So that way I can start like hunting for them on the secondary market and stuff. But um, I haven't done that yet, and I don't I don't think I'm gonna try and do that in this video. In this video, but this guy is one of the ones that um, is kind of higher up on my list, I'd say for sure, because he's really pretty. The Bollywood surprise. If you haven't watched it yet, go watch my Briar my Briarfest Bollywood surprise speculation video, so you can hear all my thoughts about that. Just uh, for this, and it's like it's this weird thing. I'm sure other people do it too, where I'm like, part of me hopes it's a mold I don't really like. I hope that the Bollywood Surprise is a mold I don't like, only just so I don't have to worry about trying to buy one, because I just I just don't want to don't want to have to deal with that in a way. And at the same time, it's like I hope it's one that I really like a mold I really like, because it doesn't want to have a horse that they really like, you know. So I have mixed feelings about whether or not I want it to be on a mold that I actually really like or not. Like I said, I kind of actually hope that it's not on a mold I like because then I don't have to worry about trying to buy one. Next up is D Diwali. Diwali, I don't know if that's how you say her name, but she is a cow and she is the animal model for this year's Briar Fest. And I'm just vaguely blanking as I'm trying to remember what last year's animal model was. Oh, it was, it was the bull, the, 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 I can't think of its name, but it was the bull, you know, th that guy, the Braham bull, that's how you say it. I'm just like totally blanking, I don't know. So they've actually been doing a lot of bulls and like cows lately, because the 2015 animal was also a bull, and I actually have that one, I really like him. I feel like Briar needs, okay Briar, you've done cows and bulls for three years in a row. What was the year before that? I don't even remember. Um, wow. This is really sad. You can see how much I have not been doing Briar stuff because I am very bad at my Briar, Briar knowledge right now. Okay, so it was bugging me, so I looked it up, and now I totally remember. The year before that was bears, so that that's good. It wasn't four years of uh, cows and bulls straight in the straight in a row. But um, I do kind of hope that next year Briar does something that's not a cow or bull, just to kind of you know mix it up. 
Although I will admittedly be totally down if they did the Longhorn uh, Bull because I really like that mold for some reason. I think he's just super cool looking. So if they did do that guy, I'd be okay with it. But I am curious to see what their um, animal model for next year will be. If they'll continue with the uh, cows and bulls or they will go ahead and actually do a different animal like dogs and cats or deers or whatever else. As for the actual special run model, I think it's super cool that she comes with a little blanket and a collar that is like really awesome. I love it when Briar includes like little extra stuff sometimes on their models. I think that's really fun. And this cow looks really pretty. I can't, you can't really tell like what she looks like underneath the blanket. But I'm assuming she is just like this white glossy cow and she looks really cute and pretty. Again though, she is not one I feel like I have to have for my collection. She is really nice. But I just, I can't, I can't get any more guys. I'm already going crazy with all, all that I have already. And I'm actually going to be doing a collection tour very, very soon here. Her partial collection tour to show you guys the craziness that I'm living right now. Anyway, moving on, we're going to go to Namaste. The one that I actually do know how to pronounce her name correctly. So this is the decorator, decorator special run for this year. And she is on the Madison Avenue mold. Please tell me that's right. And so she is really pretty, like kind of a Palomino, I guess, is what they start off with. And then they did like these henna tattoo-y designs on her. And I think she's pretty, but I'm not not really one. I'm like, oh, I want her. Like, nah, nah, I don't really want her at all, honestly. She's pretty and she's not like a terrible model to me or anything like that. She's just not one. I particularly like that much because I'm not really a fan of henna really to begin with but I will say she really nicely fits the theme and going with that I think it is nice when Briar does models that fit the theme because like in 2015 the the, the decorator horse for that uh, Giverny I love that horse but he does not fit the theme of France at all I feel like he just looks like an Easter horse now don't get me wrong, that is a decorator I absolutely love for some reason, but he doesn't fit the theme. The thing about Namaste though is she does fit the theme, which is very nice. Next is Dar Dar Jirling, Dar Jirling, Darling, I don't know. This guy is kind of the only one besides the cow, is that right? I need to look real quickly. Yeah, he is like one of the only ones. Actually, the uh, Madison Avenue one's a little bit older too, but like the cow is quite a bit older. And then the rearing Mustang guy here is the oldest, I believe. But all these other guys are like really new molds, which is kind of surprising that Briar has seemed to really, really liking to do their other special runs now on like really recent new molds. I guess that's working out for them though, because people are buying them like crazy. So this guy is on this semi rearing, rearing stallion mold. Honestly, I, I kind of want him at the same time. I kind of don't want him. I like him because I do like this mold His coloring his pattern pattern are fantastic But the main reason I want him is because he looks like glitterati and I don't know why but I freaking love glitterati <laughs> He's like one of my not one of my top favorites, but he's definitely a, a, one of the ones I really really like in my collection he is super gorgeous and I mostly want to get this horse just so I can put him next to Glitterati and say look they're the same but otherwise I feel like I don't really need this horse as pretty as he is but who knows maybe he'll still find his way into my collection so I can just stick him next to Glitterati and say look how cute they're twinsies and I I don't know so that's that's my thoughts on Dar Dar Darling or however you say his name Dar Darling Dar Yelling Dar I don't know I'm just making all kinds of noises and probably just destroying the sacredity of his name the next one is Kali and I love her must have I am so gonna buy this horse at some point somehow I need her. She is gorgeous. I love Yasmin. Can I just tell you that right now? My Yasmin is currently packed away, which makes me so freaking sad because I love that horse. Like seriously, she is amazing. Like I love that horse. I never would have expected me to like a Arabian mold so much, but I absolutely love that mold. She is incredible. And so I need this one. I love this one's coloring just as much as I love Yasmin's. So I need her. I love 
the dark black and these pretty like what is this called again I can't think of it. it's kind of like a Sabino though is that what she is maybe she's a Sabino or she's like a, a nah, I'm not gonna try to pronounce the names of colors but yeah she's she's whatever I'm really sorry this video is terrible oh my god this is one of like the worst rambly videos I've done in a really long time this is why I have to keep my vi videos scripted because then this happens and it gets crazy but anyway this horse love her need her want her now gorgeous gorgeous moving on same exact thing want him need him have to have him stunning this is vahana vahana ah i don't know why i'm doing these i don't know why i'm doing these weird accents too i'm really sorry I'm going crazy so this is vahana he is gorgeous Shannondale is obviously a very popular mold and obviously for a good reason this mold is amazing I am so happy to have this mold like to have the original Premier Club Shannondale because I love him to death and this guy I honestly well I don't know if I love him more or not I can't decide but I really 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 like this one and this one looks like a raffle model I think that's what's so amazing about him is he looks like a raffle model like this when I first saw a picture of this guy I thought he was a raffle model before I read that he was like the title saying he was a special run I seriously thought oh here's a here's a pretty raffle model and I was like wait what he's a special run no way this guy is just like wow I can't believe this is a special run he's amazing and I'm really curious if this is the model they're actually gonna do in uh, not Okay, so Briar sometimes does the thing where they put like what a special run model in matte and glossy. And I don't know if they'll do that again this year, but if they do, I don't know which model. But what if instead of the matte and glossy, they did the long tail version and the uh, braided, ta braided mane and tail version for this special run? Now that would be really cool. Like I'd love to see that, like see the braided version that they're showing here. And then also bring out the version with not without the braids but with the long tail as the other half of the run that would be super cool I think I don't know if they'll do that or not because this model is already gonna sell like that I'm pretty sure so I don't know but that's just an idea I I think that would be cool if Briar did some more things like that because I do I do love the fact they did the what's her name <laughs> I can't think of names Nabin Namid from last year in both glossy and matte. I love that. So besides Vahana, I think the other model they might do glossy and matte on is maybe Dirt Jerling, maybe if they did the other half in matte. I'm really not sure. I don't, I don't know what they would do if they would do that. I feel like none of these models really need another half of a glossy run though. These other special runs like Kali's already amazing. Vahana's already amazing and uh, Indu is already amazing. I don't really feel like they need to do another half and half run on them of matte and glossy, but who knows? We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out at Briarfest. Anyway, to finish up my thoughts on Vahana, love him, need him, gorgeous, gorgeous model. Lastly is Saffron. Why they named him Saffron for this I don't know but anyway this guy is amazing I need him so I do really like the Geronimo mold I know not everyone does but I think he is amazing I love him this coloring of a pretty like sooty done buckskin I don't know he's pretty done I think he is gorgeous I want him really badly and I'm hoping nobody else wants him so I can get one easily because I love him I think he is gorgeous so I, I don't have any more thoughts on him. He's just, I love him. I need to have him. He's just a great looking stock horse. I really want him. So to top it off, I will say um, overall, I think actually those are my top three is Saffron, Vahana, and Kali. Those are my top three. And then right after that would be Indu and then Dirt Jerling. So that's kind of kind of my order, except my top, I can't really decide between the top three because I love Kali, Vahana, and Saffron almost equally, so I, I can't really rank those ones. But anyway, I guess, is that it? Do we go through all the Briarfest models? Oh my goodness, I can't believe we went through them already. 
I know this video is probably going to be ridiculously long and I'm so sorry. I just went off and went crazy. I really don't know what happened. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I just remembered because for some reason it's not on the Briarfest exclusive models page. So I totally forgot about it. Another model that is for the Briarfest Bazaar is the Crystal model. Crystal for this year is on the working cow, ho cow horse mold or the Bobby Joe mold. Really pretty. I have actually had one Briar Crystal horse before. They are really, really gorgeous. If you like collecting crystal horses, their crystal stuff in general, I seriously highly recommend them because they are just stunning and gorgeous. As much as I think they are beautiful and they're actually gorgeous in person, they are not for me because I am way too afraid I'd break one. And I again, I don't need any more any more briars right now, especially. But super gorgeous. I think it's cool that they did this crystal in the Bobby Joe mold. And then one final thing is I'm going to just kind of say the Briarfest merchandise stuff. Kind of just talk a little bit about that. So there's like a Briarfest yoga uh, t-shirt, which is very cute with the horses and stuff. But I will admit uh, I'm not super fond of the design because when I first saw it, I was super confused. I thought the horses were spelling out something. Like it was like YMCA or something. I thought they were trying to spell something out. Like, I, I couldn't understand at first what the horses were doing until I read the title of what the t-shirt is. And I was like, oh, okay, they're doing yoga. Now that makes sense. So that's the bad thing about that shirt, I feel like, is maybe not everyone will get it right away. I know I didn't get it right away, but maybe other people get it better than I do. It is cute, though. I think it's a really cute idea. I actually really like the two hats. I probably like the purple one the best, actually. I would totally love to get a purple hat. One of the little tote bags, which... I actually really like you because tote bags are great. I use them all the time. All right, I really need to stop this video now because I'm going insane. So, all right, that is all for this video. In the comments, I want you guys to tell me which Briarfest 2017 model is your favorite. You can tell me like which special run is your favorite or just which model in general of like the rare ones or whatever. I really don't care. Just tell me which model is your favorite. I want to know what you guys think about the different models and stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!